Colorado. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to our Friday edition of Good Morning Vale. Here's a live shot from just south of us in Leadville. 33 degrees first thing this morning. A lot of sunshine coming our way. It's going to be a pretty nice weekend, I think. Maybe a little bit of rain towards the end of the weekend, but for the most part, early fall is upon us. I know. I'm so that? excited. I know, aren't you? Yeah, because only 57 days <laughs> until we're open, the like lifts are turning, and we can be on our skis or snowboard if you're Mark. I haven't snowboarded since I had my crash. Oh yeah. I just ski now again, which is fine. It's all good. I get to get out there and enjoy. It's all good. 57 days. That's right. We're fired up for this. 57 days. I'm happy you switched to the ski side of life. Well, that's where it all started, you know, yeah. when I was young and then I just shifted gears for maybe 10 years from like 86 to 96. I just snowboarded and then I kind of brought it back again to skiing. So it's, you know, the snowboarding actually, the carving, the alpine snowboarding that I did actually helped my skiing. So it all kind of worked together. Yeah, it all does always work together. Just yeah. any activity on the snow where you're just like in love with where you live is a good activity, I think. Mm -hmm. The whole feud between skiers and snowboarders makes Done. no yeah, it makes no sense to you me. You were like knee high to a grasshopper when that was going on, weren't you? Like knee high to a grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, really? No, I feel like it still goes on. Maybe it does a little bit. Yeah, I feel like there's always just been that little bit of contention between the two of them, and I think it's ridiculous. Did you ever snowboard? Yeah, I tried it once, and I got hit. Like, full on, some guy just took me out, and I was like, I'm never doing this again. Was I, it here? Was it? No, it home? was in Park City, and yeah. I was like, I would never be anywhere close enough for you to hit me if I would have been on skis. So I was like, I'm never you'd doing be this. You'd be like, you'd be chasing me, buddy. You'd be chasing me. We no, we wouldn't, even be on the, we wouldn't even be on the same part of the mountain. <laughs> I would never, I would, yeah, just like not doing it again. That was painful. So I'm looking at my list, Maddie, of weekend activities, and it is stacked this weekend. It is super There's stacked. There's a lot this happening right now. This is a great time of the year to be in the Vale Valley um, as we make our way into fall. A few more activities for the summertime, but um, just taste a Vale. Hike, hike, and dine. Hike, wine, and dine. October, <laughs> hike, wike. Hike, wike, and dike. We've got a Vail Oktoberfest also all weekend long. <laughs> yeah, hike, wine, and dine. That's one that I'm always looking forward yeah. to just because it's so incredible. Supporting Jack's Place, which is amazing. The Shaw Cancer Center. It's going to be great food. It's a mellow five-mile hike. It's I'm, I can't wait. And so the way that works is you, you're walking through kind of the, the lower trails on Lower Beaver Creek, and you come around a corner, and there'll be a restaurant set up there with some snacks, some yummy food from the restaurant, and then you hike another half a mile, then there's another restaurant with, with some champagne. It's pretty neat the way, the way you do it out there in, in nature. It's neat. Yeah, and by this weekend, by Sunday, I'm saying almost peak foliage. Almost. They're staying in the control room now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying almost. As these temperatures are getting colder and colder at night, it's starting to turn quicker and quicker. My house, my deck, just has beautiful gold leaves all over it right now. It looks like a fairy tale house. We'll see. We're going to hold her to that and see what happens, okay? I'm hoping. I'm um, hoping. Oktoberfest this weekend, too. I know. The final one. I know. I get to announce it all weekend long. Oh, boy. All weekend long. Starts this afternoon. we got Stein lifting. And then tomorrow we've got the bratwurst eating. We've got... Stein lifting, keg bowling. You've seen the keg bowling. Yeah, I actually knew that you were announcing it all weekend because I talked to Katie Till yesterday. Yeah. I'm considering, contemplating. Oh, you should do it with us. That'd be fun. Um, being an yeah. Yeah, being a, an award girl. Yeah. 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 We'll see. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe on Sunday I'll come and participate in all the madness. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> the Vail Automotive Classics also going on this weekend, Sunday in Lion's Head. It's a pretty neat one. Oh my gosh. So you can literally do something. 
every day this weekend and a different thing every day this weekend. Mm -hmm. You can start your morning doing one thing and end your day doing something completely opposite. Big football game tonight at home for Battle Mountain. The Huskies taking on Aspen right there at uh, Battle Mountain in Edwards. That's going to be a good game. We did the team dinner last night because my son's playing football too. And um, we're going to see how he turns out if he gets out there. Yesterday he comes home and he's like, I hurt both of my, my ring fingers. You know my son. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I mean, they just had a pretty big loss that they big took. Big loss. Well, yeah. Lutheran, I don't even know how Lutheran fits into the equation of playing this division up here. I don't know, but Lutheran's like number two in the state. They're actually number one in the state. They whooped them. Yeah, 61. 60, 61 and nothing. I know. But I didn't know this, and I actually just learned this because we just did a web-exclusive interview with the head coach from Battle Mountain. If yeah. you play teams that are higher ranked, so they're number one, and you lose, even though you competed against them, you're getting more points to go on to the playoffs. It was a humbling experience that night. <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> oh. So, but the, I mean, you guys have played Aspen before. You've been in Aspen, right? Yeah. And they did pretty well against Aspen at that game. I haven't game. seen them play this year yet. They played Basalt. Oh, they played Basalt. Yeah. Okay, so different teams. Um, Basalt, and they lost in, in overtime. Um, but JV did a pretty good job of bringing the herd on, so it was good. Okay, so it's going to be an exciting game tonight. Yeah. And also tonight, what? if you're looking for something to do, what? the Ford Amphitheater. We've sure. got we've got Terry, who's got his Grateful Dead socks on. He's actually currently dancing behind the camera. <laughs> Phil Lesh and friends taking place at the Ford Amphitheater tonight. Uh, Phil Lesh was the basis for the Grateful Dead, if you weren't aware of this. But um, he goes around and travels and brings different friends in depending upon where he's performing it's a different group tonight then he's going to be down along the front range at some point terry was talking about before with another group of his buddies up on the stage uh, but it will be a tremendous show the last show for the summer concert series for the gerald r ford amphitheater which is a spectacular venue and right now if you are going to go to any of their shows or really just this last show of the summer season you need to make sure that you have your vax card with you because they are checking those at the door and that's kind of part of your admission to get in do it one more thing <laughs> we got one more thing oh right. man remember what we're doing should we sing happy birthday to her now oh yeah we sh <laughs> well i don't i'm not a singer but we should wish her a happy so, birthday so beth has been a part of tv8 back um Back in the day, and with the new crew, and her daughter Haley has been on TV every year, I think, for her birthday, probably except for last year. Um, but Haley turned 17 today. Haley's at Battle Mount. Here's a beautiful photograph of <laughs> Haley wearing, I think she's wearing her brother's football shoulder pads, and she wasn't too fired up for the photo. But this is the one that Beth sent us. Um, so we wish you a happy birthday, Haley. Yeah. I mean, 17, that's a great year because next year comes 18 and then adulthood. <laughs> it's all going to happen so fast. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, boy. Fishing report today. We got some great interviews. Who got some, coming in? We got some, some nifty ones. Yeah, one Carboy. that I'm really excited about. Yeah, Carboy Winery. They're based out of Denver. I've spent a lot of time in their Denver showroom just when I was living down in Denver. It was a great place to be, and it was right near my house, which was fantastic. So a great showroom down there. They sell to one of the liquor stores up here, and we're going to find out which one because you want to get your hands on their wine. It's absolutely incredible. And they're coming to highlight something very exciting. They've got a new little showroom down in Palisade. Oh, neat. What yeah. a great spot for a showroom, too. I know. I bet you they do well down there. I mean, I think, I yeah, yeah, I would imagine, and especially there's something happening in Palisade this weekend, and I forget what it is, but they're going to give us all the great information on that. Let's dig into it. we got a fishing report once again, weather, some more interviews. This is our Friday edition of Good Morning Vale. We'll be right back. Eric Sundblad with Good Morning Vale here alongside Maddie Evans. As always, Maddie, we've been having a blast bringing everyone Good Morning Vale back into their lives. But something has been missing, Maddie. Something has been missing. I'm so excited. The Watch and Wins. But, We're giving things away. Ah, This was the favorite part of our show back in the day. We love to give away free prizes in just a few short weeks. We are going to be back with more Watch and Wins. Step on, take a look around, and take a listen. 
Relax to the rhythm of the train on the tracks. For the kids, and the kid in all of us, the Leadville, Colorado and Southern Railroad. Welcome to beautiful, sunny San Diego, known for its white sand beaches and amazing weather. I'm Stephanie J. This is the Opulent Minute. This gorgeous two-story home is located in La Jolla's exclusive Loa Hermosa. The spacious grand entry boasts a dramatic winding staircase to the upper level and opens to a gorgeous water view living room. Enjoy panoramic ocean and sunset views while relaxing to the sound of rolling waves from nearly every room of this incredible Mediterranean estate. I'm here with Mayumi, a massage therapist from To Go Spa. Tell us about the services you offer. We go to your rental property and do the massage and nail services so you can enjoy your vacation time. Book now at opulentvacations.com. Luxury accommodations just steps from Wind and Sea Beach. This is Southern California lifestyle at its finest. We'll see you next time on the Opulent Minute. Contact us today, opulentvacations.com. Historic Deerfield is significant as a site because we're an important place in American history. All but a few of the historic houses are on their original home lots. The original town plan from the 1670s is still in place. The town retains its original scale. And in many of the houses, we have objects connected to Deerfield, the Connecticut River Valley, and New England. And all of this together helps to convey a deep sense of place. Here's a live shot looking off from the north side of I-70, right there, just west of downtown Vail, looking off to the east. Uh, you can see, like Maddie said, she's convinced that, that we're going to see our peak foliage this Sunday. I'm going to kind of disagree with her on that one, maybe up high. Uh, but we see some of those aspens starting to change. Nice and sunny in Vail this morning, probably temperatures low to mid-30s. Uh, it's definitely a cool morning today as we shift gears into early fall, late summer. We're going to see those cooler mornings. And those daytime highs getting into the 70s, which is kind of nice for a change. Um, you know, pack a light jacket if you're going to head out first thing in the morning, maybe a, a layer you can shed. But 70 temperatures, perfect. There's your five-day to start. Uh, we're going to see sunshine for Saturday, for Sunday. Maybe a chance for some cloud cover, maybe a little bit of moisture for Monday. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, more sunshine. Temperatures dropping by Monday into the low to mid-60s. For today, let's take a closer look at what we have happening. Uh, 42 first thing this morning at 8 a.m. We're going to see 77 for a high temperature in Vail over the course of our Friday afternoon. Tonight around Vail, once again, uh, we are going to see temperatures dropping into the low to mid to upper 30s, depending upon where you are. Uh, slight breeze out of the northwest, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now around our state today, this is what you get to see. For Denver, temperature 75. For Vail, a little bit warmer in Vail, 77. Avon, 80 degrees, right here at the home of the TV8 Studios, and then a little further to the west towards Eagle, 81, and lots of sunshine. Uh, but still, once again, those temperatures just a little bit cooler. Perfect weather to get out and enjoy all the fun activities we have going on around Eagle County all weekend long. There's that five-day, once again, 77 today. Cooler tomorrow, 71. 62, and a chance for maybe 40% chance for some rain on Monday. Tuesday, sunshine returns, 64, and then Wednesday, 71. That's a look at your weather for Friday and for the weekend. We'll be right back. Good morning, Vail. My name's James, and I've been in the market for mortgages several times over the years, so I've gone through the process with different people. And uh, when I met Andrea, she explained to me why my current loans were subpar and how she could get better loans with better rates. If I had to describe it, Andrea, in one word, I think I would use the word passionate. She is very passionate about what she does and getting the right solutions for her clients, uh, and that made her an absolute pleasure to work with. Hi, I'm Andrea Cox. You can reach me at 435-631-9262. Call me, text me, or you can reach me on my website, andreacoxmortgage.com. All aboard! Step on. Take a look around and take a listen. Relax to the rhythm of the train on the tracks. For the kids, and the kid in all of us, the Leadville, Colorado and Southern Railroad.
Follow your favorite extreme sports athletes with the Telly Award winning show, The Line. If you're an adrenaline junkie and need a daily dose of base jumping, skydiving, highlining, biking, kayaking, and more, then look no further. We've got you covered. Catch JT Holmes, Andy Lewis, Cam Zink, and many more extreme sport athletes here on The Line. Check your local listings for more information. Historic Deerfield is significant as a site because we're an important place in American history. All but a few of the historic houses are on their original home lots. The original town plan from the 1670s is still in place. The town retains its original scale. And in many of the houses, we have objects connected to Deerfield, the Connecticut River Valley, and New England. And all of this together helps to convey a deep sense of place. Welcome back to Good Morning Bill. Here's a live shot from, this is the standing wave in West Glenwood off towards um, Target and the shopping center across the bridge. Um, you can see there the water is pretty low on that lower Colorado River. And fishing though right now, um, even necessarily in this area, even further west towards, towards West Glenwood, silt, rifle, um, picking up pretty good down there right now. And we're getting into fall, so we're starting to see, she's doing that thing again, she's laughing at me. <laughs> No, I was just thinking about, wow, I really love Target, and that's what, you said Target? You just totally like, went off on that, didn't you? <laughs> I was like a fly to the light. I was like, yep, Target. I love that. Oh, okay, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> and every time I do this fishing report, too, Maddie's like, do you want me to sit here while you do it, or do you want to do it by yourself? But it's kind of entertaining when we chat about it, because you've learned a bunch over the summer with fishing, even though you don't really care about it. Yeah, and then he's like, no, I want you to stay. We're doing it together. And I'm like, great, my five words, my solid input on fishing. I mean, you probably know what they're feeding on right now, right? Uh, well, okay, so side note, hopper droppers, got it. But <laughs> side note, um, I had a friend who really wanted to go fly fishing, and he came to Minturn Anglers, and he got a guided tour yeah. last Sunday. How was it? It was amazing. He had never caught a fish before. He'd been trying by himself for a really long time. Oh. And then he went out with one of your fabulous guides, and by the end, he had like, 15 pictures of him with oh, the that's fish. That's so good to hear. Yeah. I mean, it's good to hear that my crew did a good job, but it's also nice to hear that he got turned on to it the right way because it's a tricky thing. So fly fishing is, there's a lot going on with it and you either have a, your first experience is gonna set you up for moving forward, right? It's like going skiing for the first time. If you fall a lot and you don't take a lesson, you don't learn, I mean, we know because we've been doing it forever, but if it's a bad experience, you might be like, yeah, it's not for me. Yeah. You know? Well, and I mean, he loved it. And now I was like, all right, well, Mark Sassy, the king of fly fishing here in the Vale Valley has promised to take me so many times, hasn't done it. And so I was like, will you take me fly fishing? So you are in. You're getting there. You're yeah. getting there. Hopper dropper. So Maddie says hopper <laughs> dropper. Uh, so that means all the hoppers, all the terrestrials that fly around in the bushes, the spiders, the hoppers, um, even like the hornets and the wasp and stuff. With these cold nights, they start to get um, lethargic. Eventually, they're going to they're gonna die. They end up in the river, whether it's a, they're alive or not. And the fish love to feed on them, hoppers. Let's talk about the river flows and temperatures. We've kind of done that all summer, kind of just highlighting on those river temperatures um, because we had those high temperatures mid-summer. Let's take a look at the graph right now for the Eagle River. Um, so right now our temperatures are about 53 degrees. You know, our highest temperature we had was back on the 13th of September at 66, but now we're starting to see a moderate decline every day at the peak. Um, so we're in a good spot temperature-wise. And even though those river flows are low, let's take a look at the flows on now these are the flows on uh let's see there it goes we got it um flows on the eagle river just down just west of walcott there she goes just west of walcott uh flows are at about a little under 100 cfs she's just making fun of me she has this fish thing going on we should just bring her back on camera when she's not expecting it <laughs> oh nick has done it to me before it would not be the first maddie time. temps on the colorado right now 55 look at that Nice and cool, which is good for the fish. And you see that high point. We had like 60 degrees a couple days ago, but it's all pretty 
level now, which is nice. And the flow's on the Colorado there. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> that was perfect. We're done with the graphs. We're good with that. We're good with that. We got caught. Oh, that was so necessary. Yeah. Do that again. How did you do that? You kind of look like a guppy. You see what she's doing? Anyways. That's the fly fishing move. Swing, for... Yeah, swing by Minturn Anglers if you want some more <laughs> advice. Uh, you want to go out on a fishing lesson. You want to go and take a, take a trip. You need some flies, some advice. We'll help you out. We're right there in Minturn on the left as soon as you come into town. What we got next? Also, if you just need some puppy love, Mark is always in there with Moxie, and Moxie. she's a great little, little snuggle bug. She is a good little snuggle bug. Yep. yep. I miss my Moxie. Oh, well, you should have brought her in. Like she could have been the pillow today. I don't like waking her up. She's so peaceful. I mm -hmm. walk in and she's on her back like this, just totally crashed. I'm like, I can't move her. That's how B is, except for B goes to the edge of my bed and puts her paws like this and her head down and is done. And I'm like, I want to be you right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's great. Okay, what do we got coming up? We've got Carboy Winery, and I'm so excited that they are here. They just made their way from Denver. They drove in first thing this morning, so we're super excited to have them. My name's James and I've been in the market for mortgages several times over the years so I've gone through the process with different people and uh, when I met Andrea she explained to me why my current loans were subpar and how she could get better loans with better rates. If I had to describe Andrea in one word I think I would use the word passionate. She is very passionate about what she does and getting the right solutions for her clients uh, and that made her an absolute pleasure to work with. Hi I'm Andrea Cox you can reach me at 435-631-9262 Call me, text me, or you can reach me on my website, andreacoxmortgage.com. Welcome to beautiful, sunny San Diego, known for its white sand beaches and amazing weather. I'm Stephanie J. This is the Opulent Minute. This gorgeous two-story home is located in La Jolla's exclusive Loa Hermosa. The spacious grand entry boasts a dramatic winding staircase to the upper level and opens to a gorgeous water view living room. Enjoy panoramic ocean and sunset views while relaxing to the sound of rolling waves from nearly every room of this incredible Mediterranean estate. I'm here with Mayumi, a massage therapist from To Go Spa. Tell us about the services you offer. We go to your rental property and do the massage and nail services so you can enjoy your vacation time. Book now at opulentvacations.com. Luxury accommodations just steps from Wind and Sea Beach. This is Southern California lifestyle at its finest. We'll see you next time on the Opulent Minute. Contact us today, opulentvacations.com. Historic Deerfield is significant as a site because we're an important place in American history. All but a few of the historic houses are on their original home lots. The original town plan from the 1670s is still in place. The town retains its original scale. And in many of the houses, we have objects connected to Deerfield, the Connecticut River Valley, and New England. And all of this together helps to convey a deep sense of place. Follow your favorite extreme sports athletes with the Telly Award winning show, The Line. If you're an adrenaline junkie and need a daily dose of base jumping, skydiving, highlining, biking, kayaking, and more, then look no further. We've got you covered. Catch JT Holmes, Andy Lewis, Cam Zink, and many more extreme sport athletes here on The Line. Check your local listings for more information. All right, we've been talking delicious wine all morning as we've hyped these gentlemen up because Carboy Winery, they sell to one liquor store here in the Valley. They've got exciting news down in Palisade and so many great places where you can go enjoy their wine in Denver. So I've got Kevin and Ty here with us. Thank you guys so much this morning for coming. Thanks, Maddie. You guys are busy. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in general or just this time of year, so. I mean, I feel like both. Yeah, yeah, it's we've we're getting ready to open up our fourth location in five years tomorrow. Wow. Um, and you know, during the pandemic, we purchased a couple of vineyards in Palisade too. So it's been kind of busy is a good word to describe it. Yeah, and during the pandemic, although things at the beginning were absolutely crazy, kind of towards the tail end of summer last year, 
I was spending so much time on the patio in Denver that it was insane because I could bring my dog. Yeah. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah, the Denver location's kind of gotten known for the wine and wags. So bring, yes. your, bring your dog, sit on the patio, drink some wine. So. And get some amazing cheese boards and yeah. everything that it has to offer, which is so cool. And it's so cool when people allow you to have your dogs there. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's, it's, it's pretty great. We got a good following there. It's a scene. It's yeah. a scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's an entire mood of itself. And right we hear there. you like the, uh, the sparkling, the uh, rose la la la. Yeah, so yeah. you guys were just recently at the Vale tasting. <laughs> and I came up and was like, I know you. I've had a bunch of your wine. I've spent a lot of time on your patio. I'm so happy to see you here. And then had one tiny like little sample glass of the rosé, la la la, and was like, I'm done. I'm not drinking anything else at this wine tasting. I'm just going to stick to this, which is then what I did. Yeah. <laughs> I love your loyalty. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, I was yeah. just like, all right, I've had too much now. I was like, this is the one I know I like. And so I'm just going to stick with it, which is so cool. And it was so cool to me to have such a personal connection to you guys already and then get to enjoy you there in Vail. Yeah. No, that was, that was a fun. I, I was a Vail local here from 2001 to 2005. And uh, so I always love coming back up here. And when we, they started doing the Vail Wine Classic last year, it was something we knew we wanted to be a part of. So. Yeah, which it's nice to have all these events back. And so in Palisade, you're opening your new location mm -hmm. and there's kind of a big thing taking place this weekend that's going to keep you guys busy as well yeah so the colorado mountain wine fest which is the, the state's largest wine fest is this weekend in palisade and there's 35 participating wineries thousands of people are coming um the event didn't happen last year because of covid and and so there's a lot of buzz in the valley out there for it being back and so there's that event there's another event called uh, inaugural event called sip on colorado as well and then of course we're opening our uh, fourth location, Carboy Winery at Mount Garfield Estate. So it's a, it's a trifecta, if you want to call it that. So we're, we're not really sure what we're getting into. It's going to be pretty fun. I mean, I kind of love the unknown in all of this, just because you guys have done so well. I mean, four locations in five years, that's an impressive trajectory of being a business. And so as the lead winemaker, You've got to be like nonstop busy, and especially because people are like this. You have to bring this back. You have to bring uh, yeah. this back. Yeah, scaling all this has been uh, a bit of a challenge, but we, we have the uh, the team in place to uh, get it done, so to speak. So it's uh, it's been exciting to watch the region grow as well. Yeah, and I mean just expanding all of your different flavors of wine because I know that when I was there, I mean I I think I did the flight where mm -hmm. I could try a little bit of everything, and. Um, I mean, all of it is so good, but you guys are continually changing them out, correct? Trying to adapt to uh, the, the Colorado climate, yeah. We're, we're working with cold, hardy varieties as well as, as regular vinifera like Cabernet and Chardonnay. So it's, it's exciting to work with these new varieties as well. Yeah, and like the la la la, that one is, I mean, congratulations, perfect. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, 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 the Palisade location that we're opening is going to be really the hub for our sparkling wine program for this for, for the company. And in Denver, we have a small, um, a small pilot Chamat program there, and that's where the Rosé La La came from. And we think the future of Colorado wine lies in sparkling, and we're kind of we're kind of hedging that bet and going all in on it. So that there'll be more La 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 coming your way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and we're so lucky because you guys do sell to one of the liquor stores here in the Vale Valley. Which one is it, and how can people get their hands on some of your wine locally? Yeah, so Westville Liquors carries uh, our 2019 Albarino, and uh, we also have a Breckenridge tasting room, which is just over the hill, over the pass from here. Um, and then Palisade's not that far away. And then, of course, we have you know we have different accounts all over the state. Base Camp Liquors in Frisco, they can get it there as well. And um, but we encourage anybody to come and check out any of the tasting rooms of the Main Winery in Littleton, or come out to Palisade, see the vineyards, and. Yeah. Seriously, that's on my list of things to do before it starts to actually snow, is to make my way down to Palisade. It's always been a bucket list item, and then having you guys come in has just like ignited that fire. Tenfold. And there's a, there are a multitude of neighbor uh, wineries that we, we could uh, steer you toward that, that are doing some great things as well. I mean, I don't know if you heard, I'm pretty loyal. I'll <laughs> yeah. just come and spend a day with you guys. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. We don't want to, yeah. No, it's exciting. It's an exciting industry. It's grown a lot. The wine industry here in Colorado has grown a lot in the last five years. And there's some great winemakers, in, uh, including our guy here, Tyzok. So it's, uh, but it's, it's a bright future for Colorado in, in the wine industry. 
which it's so exciting to have you guys even come here just because you're so Denver based that how lucky are we to have you here in our little TV station in Vail? Well, I mean, it, it, we might be Denver based, but Colorado, you know, growing up here, I know that the whole state is like a small town. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we have that kind of mentality, you know, having a mountain tasting room, having a Western Slope tasting room and vineyard, and then having our main winery in the front range. We kind of, it's all kind of one family. So we, you know, we want everyone, all four corners of the state to be able to experience our wine, so. Which is absolutely incredible. And I mean, although you've got big things happening this weekend, I'm sure there's more big things in the works besides just this year. Any big things happening next year that we should mark our calendars for? Well, we, we, uh, the gr we're soft opening for our Palisade location uh, tomorrow. Uh, we're starting construction you know, a couple weeks from now where we're going to be adding 4,000 square feet uh, to that location and having a grand opening in April of next year. So a big, huge rooftop patio that has a 360 degree view of the whole valley. Uh, we want it to be you know, the place where you get off your mountain bike and instead of having a beer, you're going to come have a glass of wine. And, so that's exciting <clears throat> as we ramp that up. We just launched our um, wine seltzer, Cold Vines. I think you maybe probably tried that at Vail Wine Classic. Um, that's uh, just got launched last month, and we're expecting big things out of that. And then uh, we actually started expanding westward a little bit, planting some uh, vines in Washington State. So we're, we're, just, we're just growing um, all, all around. So there's a lot of exciting things. And who knows, you know, we, we're used to venturing into the unknown and kind of just making it up as we go. <laughs> Which is absolutely incredible. And so you guys have brought one bottle of wine with you today. What is this? So this variety is, uh, is called Terraldigo. It's, uh, it's origins are uh, of Italian Alpine. Uh, it's an Alpine variety and it's um, very food friendly, but we planted more acreage at our Palisade location. And so uh, we'll have more Terraldigo uh, coming online in the future. And this wine in particular <clears throat> is a double gold winner in this year's Governor's Cup, which is the state wine competition. Uh, and it's been kind of a cult following right out, the, right out the gate. Denver Post wrote an article about this particular varietal. It's been talked about a lot in not just Colorado, but California for as one of those next um, varieties that, that winemakers and consumers may start looking towards. And um, you know, it, we've had a lot of success for it. We, Trader Joe's in Denver sold through 10 cases in 24 hours, um, wow. which put us in kind of an inventory crisis yeah. with it. But uh, <laughs> it just speaks to, you know, the, the climate that Colorado wine industry is in, which is consumers are looking for new, exciting things. Um, and, and sometimes they're grabbing things like a Toral to go instead of a Cabernet Sauvignon or a Pinot Noir. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely incredible. So you guys are just like kind of pioneering this guy right here, which is amazing congratulations it's been exciting yeah. it's been exciting yeah. oh my gosh well good luck this weekend on your adventures and your travels to palisade and your mini show opening grand opening small opening yeah <laughs> before the big grand one in april our Thank dress you. our dress rehearsal yeah there, <laughs> yeah, there you go that's what i like to <laughs> hear. Yeah. thanks for letting us stop in here you know we always lo love stopping in the valley and of course. and you should make your way to palisade um, yeah, there are going to be wines on tap insider scoop wines on tap that are state grown that are unavailable elsewhere, so. Ooh, well, <laughs> I mean, maybe I do hike, wine, and dine here Sunday and then just drive to Palisade Absolutely. for a couple hours and then come back before I have to do this on Monday morning. Precisely. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming in this morning. Thank you for stopping by. Stop by anytime. You guys want to stop by on your way back through? You let me know. Any we extra can... wine we got? Yeah, we yeah, we yeah, know yeah, where we know where someone will take us. Yeah, yeah. We're a great place for that. Coming up next, we've got more Good Morning Vale. Make sure that you go to the West Vale Liquor Store and you check out the Carboy Winery that you can grab a bottle of wine there. Make sure if you're in the front range, you check that out. Or if you go to Breckenridge, do their tasting room there because their wine is absolutely incredible. Coming up next, we've got more Good Morning Vale, so stay tuned. Good Morning Vale. Step on, take a look around, and take a listen. Relax to the rhythm of the train on the tracks. For the kids, and the kid in all of us, the Leadville, Colorado and Southern Railroad. 
Historic Deerfield is significant as a site because we're an important place in American history. All but a few of the historic houses are on their original home lots. The original town plan from the 1670s is still in place. The town retains its original scale. And in many of the houses, we have objects connected to Deerfield, the Connecticut River Valley, and New England. And all of this together helps to convey a deep sense of place. Welcome aboard! Bobby Lori and Nikki Noya have your ticket to everything you need for an on-the-go lifestyle. Grab your boarding pass. It's time to jet set. Follow your favorite extreme sports athletes with the Telly Award-winning show, The Line. If you're an adrenaline junkie and need a daily dose of base jumping, skydiving, highlining, biking, kayaking, and more, then look no further. We've got you covered. Catch JT Holmes, Andy Lewis, Cam Zink, and many more extreme sport athletes here on the line. Check your local listings for more information. Good morning, Vale. And welcome back to Good Morning Vale, our Friday edition. Joining us in the studio now, uh, Brittany Kinney. She's with uh, Youth Power 365. Youth Power 365 has been around for quite a long time. They're part of the Vail Valley Foundation, and they're really here to help families and students kind of bridge that gap uh, between what do we do next, how do we learn more, what can we do to engage our families and our community, and they do a great job. So we want to welcome Brittany to the show. Thanks for being here this morning. Thanks for having me. And of course. It's nice to see you. You too. You told me off camera you like Starbucks was closed today. I didn't get my espresso. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm so kind of mellow. She's I am. It's, yeah. uh, it's hard to function without espresso these days, y'all, especially before 8 a.m. like the espresso, huh? Yeah. It's a nice little wake-up call. You only need one. It's one a single shot? Yeah, just okay. a single. You don't have to put anything in it? Oh, you need a little bit of cream. Okay, a little bit of cream. Yeah. Um, how long have you lived in the Valley? You've been here for a while? Yeah, I've been here almost seven years. Okay. Where yeah. are you from? I'm from Minnesota originally, so if you hear me say bag really weird or bagel in public, don't judge me. How do you say bagel? Bagel? It's like a really long A. You're taught that there's three A noises in Minnesota, so it's like <laughs> <laughs> instead of two. So it's kind of big. It's, I don't know. It's weird. It's like an I'm A and an E. I'm totally going off, <clears throat> of, off topic right now, but I've been heavily watching. I don't know if you watched Fargo, the TV, the series. Yeah, that's real. The series. Not the movie itself, but the actual series. It's phenomenal. Is it? Oh, you should watch it. I haven't. I've watched the movie. Watch the series. Okay. It's on, it's on uh, Hulu. Are the accents in it? They're brilliant. Okay, great. Because they're probably all real. It goes up to Dakotas and Minnesota, and they travel around, and this stuff goes wrong. It's a crazy show. I'm, I'm excited. Okay. Youth Power 365, sorry. No, you're great. So yeah. let's let everybody know first um, what, what exactly it is that Youth Power does. And then we'll go we'll dig in deeper. Yeah. Youth Power 365 is a youth and family serving organization in the Valley over 20 years. We work with everything from pre-K, you'll see our magic bus around the Valley, um, serving obviously preschoolers, preparing them for kindergarten, all the way through college and career readiness. We give away about $400,000 a year in scholarships and follow students throughout their college and career journey in hopes that they can be successful and reach their dreams. Um, and then obviously many families know our after school programs, right? Those serve K through eight, and they're a wonderful affordable option for all of our families to receive um, fun activities and care after school. There you go. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been doing interviews, I think with Youth Power and the foundation for many, many years. And my son now is at that age. I mean, he's 16. Mm -hmm. None of this really lined up for me before. Like it didn't really make a lot of sense to me because I wasn't in that place. But now that my son is at that mm -hmm. point where he has to start kind of 
thinking to the next level, right? Yeah. He should have been doing stuff with you many, many years ago, but the next level is going to be the college preparedness and starting to make that plan. Yeah. And you have some neat things that you do for kids at that age that are, that are available right now. Absolutely. Our staff are actually in the schools four days a week. Um, so depending on the school you go to, there is dropping college advising, 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock, um, Mondays and Fridays at Battle Mountain, and then Thursdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays at Eagle Valley High School. So it's wonderful. You can receive help from us right in your school. Otherwise, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one advising. Right. Um, anytime virtual, we can set up a meeting in person, and that link is on our website, um, and that is for any family. I have students who meet with me once um, or they meet with me once a week and that's what they need. So we're here for that one hard question or for your wow. entire journey. I wonder if my son's watching this right now. He's not. He's, not. <laughs> he's, not. Um, he's probably, <laughs> he's probably <laughs> in bed. If I'm guessing high school, he'll probably yeah. wait to brush his teeth until like five tomorrow. minutes. Well, yeah, or tomorrow he's or just not at all. Game. He plays for Battle Mountain football. Oh, so that's awesome. Football game. So that's kind of his priority right now. So Brittany, Power Up for Success. That's one of the first events, <clears throat> bigger events coming up, and that's on October the 23rd. What's that all about? Power Up for Success, um, and it used to be just for females, but we were like, oh, wow, like, guys need this help too, right? So it's our annual event to help students discover their definition of success. So this year, it is all day. It's on a Saturday. Um, students can attend workshops um, as well as get an interview-ready outfit. And then we end the night with Minute Mentoring, which is a way for the entire community to be involved. If you're passionate about young people, come and give two hours of your time. And it's speed networking with young people. So, oh. yeah. That's neat for them, too, because that's a piece of kind of what's happening right now in, in the community. And being able to do that, I think, is only going to set them up for more success, right? That's really what the, the, the principle is behind it, right? Absolutely. And I think when you're in high school, a lot of your peers, you all try and be the same. There's kind of a status quo. And when you interact with adults, you realize, there are so many different kinds of people, personalities, and look at all of the incredible things they're doing with their lives. Yeah. I can be me and still pursue my passions. And it's gonna help the kids define who they, they think they are because a lot of these kids at that age don't really know who they fully are, right? I mean, do you know who you are fully? I do, I, I really do now. Oh, you do? I'm like, I'm 29 and I'm like, am I there You got yet? a little bit of time. But how many more years? Um, but yes. But any they little do. any little piece that can help line up that feels right for them can kind of start building who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's a good. That's I didn't a good know way I was an doing that. introvert for years. I'm and an introvert. Really? Uh -huh. And it's probably people look at your role and think. I know. Yeah, Mark can talk all day. But I'm talking to one person, right? It's not that's like true. I'm talking to a big group. But I have to announce it at Bale Oktoberfest this afternoon, so that's different. But I am introverted. But People wouldn't think that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, career fairs. Yeah, career fair in partnership with, I'm going to rattle off a lot of partners. Do it. Eagle County Schools, Check. Bill Valley Partnership, Colorado Workforce, the <laughs> Bill uh, Rotary, <laughs> and Edwards Rotary. Nice. We, <laughs> thank you. Um, we all work together to put on the annual career fair. It is for students not only, you know, to find a job, but they can also explore careers, hands-on learning, Learn about, um, I don't know, sometimes we have like HVAC there. We'll have like a mobile learning lab from Western Colorado Community College, paramedics, all of that stuff. So if you're a business and also passionate about young people, whether you have a job that you yeah. want to hire for, or you simply just want to tell young people all about your career, great option. Um, as well as for parents, please have your students sign up and attend. We push it through Eagle County Schools. We have transportation from their school. Wow. Um, but encourage them. I think the hardest part when you get to your senior year is, what do I actually do with my life? <laughs> what feels right. That's true. Yeah. I have a little bit more time left. Youth Power Dollars for Scholars. Can you just define that one a little bit for us? Yes, Dollars for Scholars. Each year we give out $400,000 worth of scholarships, and they are almost all generously donated from community members from wow. Eagle County. So two things. Have your senior in high school apply. It opens November 1st. It's open to any Eagle County high school student. 
And second, if you're a community member that's passionate about college access, come and talk to us. We would love okay. to bring your dreams alive for that. It's good to see you. You too. Nice chatting with you. Go get that Starbucks. <laughs> get that espresso. I know. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, we have a little bit more of our Friday edition of Good Morning Vale. Coming up, we're going to be speaking with Triumph Mountain Properties. Uh, we'll be right back. My name's James and I've been in the market for mortgages several times over the years so I've gone through the process with different people and uh, when I met Andrea she explained to me why my current loans were subpar and how she could get better loans with better rates. If I had to describe Andrea in one word I think I would use the word passionate. She is very passionate about what she does and getting the right solutions for her clients uh, and that made her an absolute pleasure to work with. Hi, I'm Andrea Cox. You can reach me at 435-631-9262. Call me, text me, or you can reach me on my website, andreacoxmortgage.com. Hello, friends. I'm Eric Soonblad, one of your hosts of Eagle County Scoreboard, alongside the bestest of the co-hosts, Maddie Evans here. And Maddie, we've been having some fun times this summer debuting the scoreboard for Eagle County. Did you know we're at 10 episodes this week? I know, it's crazy. Where is all of the time gone? I, I have no idea. This whole year has just been a wild, wild vortex of time. But we've got a wild fall sports season coming up for you after this summer of giving you some of the best hikes around Eagle County, starting things off, showing off boys lacrosse from Battle Mountain and Vail Mountain School. We transitioned into hiking. We showed you Davis Hermes, a local high, high line freestyle slackliner. And now the fall sports season has really kicked off, Maddie. And I know that soccer is the big one right here, so that kickoff is perfect. Yeah, we've got <laughs> soccer starting off with Battle Mountain and Vail Mountain School. And uh, pretty soon we're going to be bringing you exclusive coverage of your Vail Ski and Snowboard Academy athletes all of their training regimens, everything they're doing to get prepped to be the next Olympic stars. And then my favorite thing that's coming up this winter, Maddie. The Vail Yetis hockey. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be providing you behind the scenes coverage of your Vail Yeti. We're going to be bringing you locker room interviews, interviews with the coach, and game analysis. So if you can't catch the Yeti in person, you can catch them on the scoreboard. That's starting later this winter, but right now, every single Monday evening at 6 p.m., you can catch a new episode of The Scoreboard, and then it debuts on our YouTube channel on Tuesdays. And remember, if you can't catch the score, you can always catch The Scoreboard. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the show. Joining us in the studio, uh, we've got two people that represent Triumph Mountain Properties, um, some of the most luxurious homes available for rent and also some amazing property management options. Let's introduce you now to Mike Connolly and Crystal Wilson with Triumph Mountain Properties. Good to see you both. Good to Me see too. you too. Happy to, to be you. back here. Glad to have you back. It's been a while since you've been, you've never been in here, have nope. you? Nope. Yep. Well, you've been here before. Years yep. ago, we used to do a bunch of these. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm just glad for you guys that you're back. We're very happy to be back. Doing stuff again. So it's nice. I was so real, sidebar, I was, I, I operate a fly fishing business and a guy came in the other day and he's, he's with his buddies and they're going fishing. He's like, you're the guy from TV. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I grew up in Vail and we watched it our whole lives. He's like, what's going on? I gave him the whole story. Yeah. He's all excited again. Yeah. Tuning back in. I think it's a great venue for, for us, right? Local companies and very much fans so. to get out, get in front of people and come and sit down chat with you about what we're doing and what are we doing let's talk about triumph yeah you guys have a lot of branches but you have a more of a focus on so we are the uh, out of the triumph partners group we are the piece that does property management and luxury vacation rentals and um, the, the pieces the bones of triumph mountain properties are 23 years old so we've been wow doing it in the valley for a long time um and, and over that time, we've, we've had the privilege and the good fortune to represent some really cool properties and some great owners. And um, Crystal came on board with us this year and, and sort of brings a, a, a vision and a passion for how we can deliver another level of service to our guests. And um, so we've put together um, a group of our, pretty much our biggest homes that we manage and rent. And we've called it the Diamond Collection. 
and within that group there's an there's like an elevated level of service that we can bolt onto your stay right so all these things that we're used to doing for people kind of a la carte yeah and we kind of looked at it and said well what are the people who come and stay in these homes typically ask us for and we've distilled it down and and created an opportunity for them to just say hey can you just take care of these things for us and make them be a part of our our stay just make it even easier for yeah for, for the yeah. consumer it really makes a difference for them they're on vacation they don't want to have to deal with anything so when you say the diamond collection mike like how many in general how many properties is that is it four is it 40. no in in this grouping right now i think it's we're at half a dozen mm -hmm. okay right so big mostly big homes sort of six five six bedroom homes. scattered around the valley wherever vale, beaver creek bachelor gulch okay um and and we were the properties we wanted to put in that group are ones that you know, sort of lend themselves to those extended family trips and um and particularly that they all have good kitchens right because a component <laughs> that's is the a, place yeah. a component that is the place. Is, the, is is a breakfast service that happens every morning right because i think the thing that uh, all of us take for granted living here is how good the food scene is so a lot of people, when they come out here, they might do, you know, an in-house catered dinner one night, yeah. but they want to go out, right? I mean, they want to go to Matsuhisa or go to Sweet Basil or go to some of these places. So for us, we looked at it and said, hey, like breakfast is crucial, yeah. right? Get everybody fed and gassed up for the day. Yeah. And, um, and then we're, we'll stock the bar in the house. Um, we have a great relationship with a company that does these honestly it's like as big as this table charcuterie, these charcuterie yeah. trays uh -huh. the grazing fox and, she does a great job <laughs> um, i love it <laughs> so it's it's uh and and we've been long-standing partners with the guys at beeline okay. aspen vale limo so there's a ground transportation component mixed into the whole thing as well so we'll get you from the airport to the house back at the end of your stay and we're, we're essentially just trying to put these pieces together for you so that you don't have to do it individually yourself. Now, Crystal, is this part of the hosted experience or is that something that's a piece and then another layer of it? What is that yeah, all about? Yeah, so it's something a little bit different. So we decided to do the diamond collection and those type of services, but then the hosted experience is that on steroids. So it'll be an on-site assistant slash concierge throughout your entire stay it's um you stay in the property with them yeah so it would some so really? we have two we'll, we'll essentially have two properties one um accommodates a host so someone like me that would stay on site the other one um someone like me would be on site you know throughout their stay not necessarily at night but be on call um, and that would include transportation um, throughout the stay so shuttling back and forth to dinner skiing whatever they might need including um, airport pickups and transfers, um, private chef for breakfast every day, and one chef dinner. Okay. Um, In-house massages every day for up to four people. I mean, it's it's pretty, it's inclusive. Babysitting, it's it's everything. Just the, the, the visual of having like their, like a personal concierge staying with them on the property. Yeah. It kind of defines, I can see what that would mean, but that's just, a, like you said on steroids, it's another layer of, mm -hmm. of, of offering ultra personal experience yeah um, and it's not for everybody but for the people that need it it's perfect it sounds like right right totally I mean you know I've dealt with people who want to come here and don't want to think about anything nothing nothing you know so it's a, it's a great opportunity for people at that level to be able to have that service and be able to just have a carefree vacation and enjoy themselves um, yeah and I it think it's yeah. I think it's largely about that delivering that experience totally. right yeah I mean, that we and we have access to some resources that can help us do okay. some really cool stuff that you know you could dig it out and find it yourself but we can make it happen for you just as right. part of right. the whole program yeah. right hey so you guys have a little bit more time left i know we want to get into the property management piece real quick so let's let's hop onto that yeah. so i think for uh you know we, as I said earlier, have been really fortunate over time and privileged to work in some of the properties that we do and to work for some of the owners that we do. And we're always looking to add 
those kinds of properties, those kinds of owners okay. to our mix. So, you know, our, our wheelhouse is managing luxury private residences, condos, townhomes, single family homes. Um, and we're at our core, even though we're here today talking about all this sort of fun guest service stuff, at our core, we've built our business on taking care of people's properties, right? You've, you've invested money, sizable amount of money okay. in an asset here, and it deserves to be managed in a way that maintains value, and if we can, enhances value over right. time. Right. Um, and it, and you know, just to bring that level to the owner is, is crucial to us, because without those owners, the other side of this business doesn't work for right. us. Right, they go, so, they go hand in hand. Okay. <clears throat> you know, we're partners, but they have an asset, and it, you know, you wouldn't, um, you, <clears throat> you wouldn't stick five million dollars in a, in a money market account somewhere and not pay attention to what's right. happening with right. it, right? So it's the same with your home, and we all know from living at seven, eight, nine thousand yeah. feet above sea level, stuff happens here for sure, and it needs to be okay. paid attention to. So. uh Best way to get in touch with you, triumphmountainproperties.com, right? Yep. Or give you a call, 970-479-9990. I know. Yep. You have to play nice the lottery with Thanks those numbers. Yeah. You too. It's good to see you too. Thanks very much for <laughs> having Take us. Take care. Have a good weekend. You we too. Will. We'll be right back with a little bit more of Good Morning Vale, our Friday edition. Join me on Elizabeth Stanton's Great Big World. Find out where I'll be going next and which celebrities I'll be bringing along with me. I'll show you amazing destinations with lots to explore, and you'll get to know my celebrity guests the way they really are, up close and personal. We'll travel the world, experience new cultures, and together, try to make a difference. I'm Elizabeth Stanton, saying the world's a big place, and I'm going to show it to you. Follow your favorite extreme sports athletes with the Telly Award winning show, The Line. If you're an adrenaline junkie and need a daily dose of base jumping, skydiving, highlining, biking, kayaking, and more, then look no further. We've got you covered. Catch JT Holmes, Andy Lewis, Cam Zink, and many more extreme sport athletes here on The Line. Check your local listings for more information. It's the fastest half hour in television. Toyota's Race Week takes you inside the high-speed world of NASCAR. Go behind the scenes for a look into the high adrenaline world of motorsports and hear from your favorite drivers as they discuss the drive to a championship. If you love NASCAR, you won't want to miss Toyota's Race Week. Oh my gosh, I swear, we blinked and the show was over. We honestly need to start probably thinking about shifting it going to like an hour and a half. I mean, it just by, goes by, by so quick. It's such a uh, fun job that we have. We're so lucky to be here. I love our job. Um, there is a plastic <laughs> riding bull in the back room. Talking about fun. They had a horse come on the, 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 the show last week. No, it was earlier this week. <laughs> mm -hmm. Benny. I didn't see it. I need to watch it after because I heard it was funny. It was, it was very funny. Benny... The mini pony, the mini well, horse. Big weekend this weekend. You guys get out and enjoy everything. Nice weather for you. Nice temperatures. Cool in the morning. Sunny, hot in the afternoon. Oktoberfest and hike, wine, and dine. The automotive classic. Phil Lesh tonight at the amphitheater. Mm -hmm. A never-ending list of fun things to do. There are expected maybe some afternoon showers on Sunday, but other than that, it's going to be a beautiful weekend to soak up that sunshine. The last few days of summer. I know, and remember, 57 days, 57 days to the time Vail Mountain opens for us to get up there and carve around on the white stuff. We're excited. So excited. I can't wait.
<laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Get out there and enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy all the fabulous activities taking place around the valley. everybody, I'm Elizabeth Hart. And I am Mitch English, and we welcome you to Daily Flash. It's your source for news, entertainment, and everything in between. We are ready to have some